Greetings, vessels of light and love. Mountain weed here. Today, I have a special guest. Someone emailed me on Facebook, a man named Zeke, and he said he wants to come here and talk to me about animals. Hello, Zeke here. Yes, Zeke, please enter my spiritual cove of love. Hello, Mountain Weed. It's nice to meet you. So, Zeke, in your email, you said that you would like to talk about animals. I love all animals. That's why I'm a vegan. <laughs> I think you mean to say that when you get together with the good old boys, that you like to barbecue a vegan at the NASCAR rally. <laughs> no, I mean I'm a vegan. I saw the movie Meet Your Meat, and I've been a vegan ever since. I love all animals, and I'm against cruelty to all animals. Really? Well, that's good for you. I tried tofu once, and I have to tell you that it tasted like cardboard to me. Vegan food is delicious. In fact, I eat a wider variety of foods as a vegan than I ever did as a carnist. I'm eating things I never even knew existed before, like tahini and tempeh and quinoa and all these other cool foods. Zeke, I eat foods from around the world too, from all different cultures, okay? Now, that's wonderful and I appreciate that, but at the same time, my health is very important to me and I need my protein. As long as you eat a variety of plant foods like beans and grains and veggies, then it's easy to get enough protein. As long as you eat enough food to maintain your body weight. Zeke, listen to me. I happen to love the taste of meat, okay? I love going out for chicken wings with my friends. Oh, you like to eat chickens, do you? Well, let me ask you this. If there was a chicken right here in this room, would you look at that chicken and just want to grab it and kill it and tear it apart and eat it all raw? No, Zeke, I wouldn't. You see, in our society, we have people who get paid to do that. People who don't speak English and wouldn't have a job otherwise. Oh, does it feel good to insult the people who are doing all your killing for you? It feels good to know that I'm keeping people employed. Yeah. These people, as you call them, have the worst job in the whole world. It's dirty, disgusting, dangerous work and nobody wants to do. I feel sorry for those people. Great, Seek. Feel sorry for everyone. The stress is going to kill you, you know. You need to relax and smoke a joint. No, I don't. Anyway, we're getting off topic. I was asking you about eating chicken. Now, you said yourself you wouldn't want to grab a chicken and kill it and start eating it raw. I bet you if I took a chicken wing and boiled it, you wouldn't even like it like that either. The reason you yeah, I like your chicken wings is because they're deep fried and they got sauce on them that has salt and sugar. It's the salt, sugar, and fat that you find appetizing, not the actual chicken wing. But the good news is you can use other foods that are cruelty free. You can use tofu and tempeh and seitan and you can do things to them. You know, you put the same sauce on them, you eat that, you won't even notice a difference. You will think it's delicious. I told you, Zeke, I tried tofu once. The texture is not the same as chicken. Oh, really? So let me get this straight. We have to continue killing 10 billion chickens a year because you don't want to get used to a slightly different texture. Does that sound a little selfish to you? Zeke. Don't try to push your views on others. Actually, Mountain Weed, I'm not pushing my views on anyone. You are actually the one pushing your views 
on others. In fact, you're forcing others to die for your views. You're not giving the animals a choice. You're forcing your views on them. You're making them die for your views. Zeke, these animals are bred to be eaten. They wouldn't even exist if not for people like me. You're trying to make me sound like a monster, but I'm not a monster. I have morals. I don't eat veal. I learned that veal comes from baby cows, and I said that's it. No more veal for me. Well, that's great, Mountain Weed. I'm really glad that you don't eat baby cows. But did you know that broiler chickens are killed when they're only 42 days old? So them chickens, they're babies too. That's different, Zeke. Chickens are stupid. They're practically vegetables. Oh really? Have you even met a chicken? You know, I went to Watkins Glen, New York to farm sanctuary a couple weeks ago and I met some chickens. And I thought they were quite intelligent. There was a young lady sitting on the grass and a chicken walked right up and climbed up on her lap and the young lady pet the chicken and the chicken was so happy. I think chickens are smart. Yes, Zeke, chickens are brilliant. In fact, one of the chicken wings I ate yesterday probably came from a chicken who would have went on to cure cancer one day if I hadn't killed him. We shouldn't eat eggs either. One of those eggs may hatch into the next President of the United States. Mm -hmm. Mountain Weed, you ever really thought about eggs? You know their period? They fall out of chickens' vaginas? They could be accurately described as being chicken pussy droppings. Hey everybody, let's have some scrambled chicken pussy droppings for breakfast. You know, push, chicken pussy droppings everywhere. People all around the world eating these chicken pussy droppings and not even really thinking about it. You know, it's really disgusting. You know, it's to the point you can't even bake a cake for a little kid's birthday party without putting some chicken pussy droppings in there. You know, that's disgusting. Would you eat the, the, the pussy droppings from a, a human woman? It would depend on how hot she is. You know, you've been brainwashed your whole life to believe that you need to eat the, the flesh and excretions from animals. Do you know that human beings are the only creatures on earth that drink the, ex, the milk of another creature or even drink milk past weaning? Milk is for babies. Like cow's milk is for cow babies. Human milk is for human babies. If I choose to drink milk, that's my business. That's my choice. Mountain weed, you're a victim of carnism. You've been brainwashed your whole life to eat disgusting things. No, I think you've been brainwashed by your vegan buddies. Okay, let's try a little exercise. Do you want to drink some of my semen? No. Hey, Mountain Weed, I don't blame you. I don't want to drink my semen either. But imagine for a moment that you grew up in a world where everybody drinks semen. It's considered normal, natural, and necessary to drink semen. You know, and you, it's all marketed just the same as like milk is. You know, you go to the grocery store and there's chocolate flavored semen and strawberry flavored semen and, and the, the semen council is recommending you drink so many glasses of semen to get your protein and your calcium. And we got the, instead of the school milk program, you got the school semen program. And you open up the magazines and there's pictures of people with semen mustaches and everybody's drinking semen semen. Then you'd be drinking semen too, right? Because because you wouldn't question things. You don't question things now, so you wouldn't question things if you grew up in a world where everybody's drinking semen. You understand? You, my friends, are crazy. Manweed, I am not crazy. I just come here to try and help you 
I brought a movie, I'll leave it with you. It's a very important movie. It's actually the most important film ever made. It's called Earthlings. It'll tell you all about how animals are treated in our world, how they're abused for food and clothing and entertainment and experiments and... No! Get that negativity away from me! Get out of here now! Take your negative energy with you! Go, 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 go! Fine, Mountain Weed. I'll leave. You just sit in your bedroom and you, you bang your drum and smoke your marijuana and pretend you're making the world a better place, sending your good vibrations all over the place. I'm gonna go out in the world and really make a difference. Alright? I'm gonna go tell people about veganism. See you later. Oh, I'm sorry about that. What's a negative, negative man? I must cleanse my vessel of light with some positive vibrations. Good day, vessels of light. Mountain weed here. If you saw my last show, you saw me talking to a man named Zeke. Zeke and I have stayed in touch via Facebook. We poke each other. He wanted to come back on my show. I think he's crazy, but his missing tooth amuses me. Zeke, you remind me of the redneck character on The Simpsons with the missing teeth. <laughs> Whatever. As long as we can talk about veganism again, I'm glad to be here. Sure. You know, Zeke, I'll never be a vegan. But you'll be happy to know that because of you, I can no longer eat eggs. I keep thinking that eating eggs is like having oral sex with chickens. That's great, Mountain Weed. You don't have to eat anything that comes out of a vagina. Well, if you're with your lady and you want to play with some fruits and veggies in the bedroom, then it's okay to eat something that came out of a vagina. But as far as other things that come out of vaginas, like eggs and babies, you know, you don't want to eat any of that stuff. I told you that I don't eat baby cows, Zeke. But I do like to eat chicken, pork, beef, and turkey. Okay, just be happy that I no longer eat eggs. Don't get pushy. Eating flesh is just as disgusting as eating eggs, Mountain Weed. Zeke, let's come back to reality for a moment. People have been eating animals for thousands of years. People have been raping and murdering for thousands of years too. Doesn't make it right. Zeke, if we all became vegans, we would eat all the plants and plants would go extinct. Then we would all starve and die. Zeke, if we didn't eat animals, then there would be too many animals, and they would take over the world. They would kick us out of our houses, and there would be cows sleeping in our beds, and pigs sitting on our couches watching our televisions, and they wouldn't let us use the remote control. And then there'd be chickens in the kitchen eating all our food and going poop all over our fine china. Mountain weed, calm down. Zeke. We have to keep the animal population in check. We have to eat a variety of plants and animals. We have to keep the circle of life a circle so that it doesn't become a triangle or a parallelogram or something like that. Mountain weed, relax. Animals don't want to kick you out of your house. Cows don't want to sleep in your bed. Pigs don't want your remote control. Chickens don't want to go poop on your fine china, okay? Modern day farmed animals ain't part of the circle of life. They ain't out in nature, prancing around, sunbathing, smelling flowers, and having sex. Mmm, sex. <laughs> These animals come from factory farms. You get it? Factory farms are breeding these animals by the billions. 
It's all about supply and demand. Right now, a lot of people want to eat these shitty foods like meat, eggs, and dairy. But as more and more people learn about how awesome veganism is, then the demand for the animal products is going to go down and there will be fewer and fewer factory farms. Until eventually, there won't be any factory farms because we's all going to be vegans. Factory farms aren't completely unnatural. The animals are still animals. They're not robot animals. Oh, these animals are about as unnatural as you can get. They're artificially inseminated and genetically altered and they get their natural bits cut off like their, their beaks and their toes and their teeth and their ears and their tails and they, they get their ball sacks cut off. They get their ball sacks cut off? Yep. They're pumped full of unnatural stuff too, like antibiotics and growth hormone, and their food is unnatural. They're fed hair and feathers and plastic and manure and diseased animals and even animals from the same species feeding cows to cows and chickens to chickens and pigs to pigs. Fucking disgusting. Well, at least the animals are getting fed. Sometimes animals in the wild starve to death. Factory farms couldn't be all bad, otherwise the governments would shut them down. Animal agribusiness is the government. Animal agribusiness doesn't break any laws because animal agribusiness writes the fucking laws. Well, I still think there are worse places to be than in factory farms. I read on the internet about a little puppy who got lost in a canyon and he didn't have any food and he was starving and his ribs were showing. I bet that puppy would have loved to go to a factory farm and get some food. Mountain weed. You can do all the mental gymnastics you want, but deep down, you know that factory farming is wrong. You know that hurting animals is wrong. Zeke, it's been great talking to you. I hope that I have been able to plant a seed in your mind so that you can see the circle of life is a good thing. I don't think it's a coincidence that omnivore starts with the letter O, a circle, circle of life. Mm -hmm. Mountain weed, I have to get going, but I, I brought a leaflet for you to read. Zeke, I don't want any more negativity from you today. Mountain weed, I'm going to leave this leaflet with you. Here's another smile for your amusement. I got to get going. You have yourself a good day. Thanks for talking with me. And I must purify, cleanse my, my temple of light with some positive vibrations. Oh, what doesn't that Zeke character understand about the circle of life? The circle of life is everywhere. My, this drum is a circle. The pot on my head is a circle that I wear to show my solidarity with the other potheads of the world. Free Mark Emery. Oh, the circle of life. Plants eat animals. Animals eat plants. It's the circle. Why doesn't, doesn't Zeke go, go give a lecture to the plants? Go tell them what to eat and leave me alone. Oh. Greetings, vessels of light. Mountain weed here. First of all, I would like to thank all of the vegans who have been watching my videos. I must say, I question the intelligence of anyone who is unable to understand something as simple as the food chain. However, the fact is, I like attention, and I'll take attention from vegans over no attention at all. So thank you for watching my videos. For the past couple of weeks, 
I've been asking the universe to bring a beautiful woman to my bedroom. Thank you, universe. Zeke, you are a crazy man. However, you must have done something right in a previous life because the universe does not bring women like Arlene to just anyone. Well, I don't know nothing about previous lives, but I'm trying to do good in this life by promoting veganism. Zeke, are you capable of saying one single sentence without the word veganism in it? Zeke sure does love veganism. Tell me about it. I think he must have been a rabbit in a previous life. Actually, I think the rabbit is still inside of him. I think he's possessed by a rabbit. He needs an exorcist to get the rabbit out of him. He needs to put the carrots in the compost bin where they belong and start eating like a real man, eating meat. Mountain weed, I am eating like a real man. Ever since I became a vegan and I cleaned up my body and it's no longer clogged up with saturated fat and cholesterol, I feel better than ever and my penis works better than ever too. Now, when I get excited, the blood rushes right in. Yeah, Zeke's penis is awesome now. Veganism has been good for my body too. Zeke just loves my vegan vagina juice. Mm. Hey, man weed. Check this out. Mm -hmm. Smell my finger. Oh, that is indeed a lovely aroma. Mm -hmm. Thank you, universe. Mm -hmm. I've always loved hairy legs on ladies. Also, when I go to the drum circles, I stare at the ladies with the hairy legs and I, I hide, I hide my boner with my drum like this. That's great, Mountain Weed. But if you don't mind, try not to get a boner while you're sitting right in front of me looking at my wife. Try to think of something disgusting to deflate your boner. Perhaps you may think of blood or pus. By the way, did you know that there is blood and pus in cow's milk? Oh, Zeke, your segues are as bumpy as Arlene's Adam's apple. Well, it's true. Cows get mastitis, which is an inflammation of the udders from getting milked all the time. The udders get all infected and then the blood and pus goes in the milk. Zeke, perhaps you should write a letter to Dairy Queen. Maybe I will write a letter to the Dairy Queen. Who is the fucking Dairy Queen anyway? Is she related to Queen Elizabeth? I think they're sisters. Yeah? Well, I bet no one grabs them sisters and hooks their titties up to milking machines. Arlene, you're a woman. Would you like to get hooked up to a milking machine? Uh-uh. I ain't producing milk yet anyway, on account of you ain't knocked me up yet. It's great that you mentioned that, Arlene. Cows are just like human beings. They have to be knocked up before they produce milk. Only the cows in the factory farms, they don't go have a good time with man cows. They get raped. They get a farmer who, who shoves a, a special instrument into their pussies and artificially inseminates them. That's rape right there. The Dairy Council should be called the Rape Council. They steal the cow babies, too. That's right. 
Right after the cows give birth, the babies get taken away to veal farms and locked up in crates and fattened up for 16 weeks before they get killed so, for, so people can eat veal. Yep. So the Dairy Council should actually be called the Rape Abduction Murder Council. Rape Abduction Murder. R-A-M. RAM. That spells RAM. I love acronyms. I'd like to ram my fist up the asses of everybody who's hurting cows. Hey Arlene, do you like to smoke weed? Sure. Do you happen to have any weed on you right now? No. Oh, me neither. Excuse me while I make a quick phone call. Hello. Hey, it's me, Mountain Weed. Hey, can you hook me up? Yeah. Oh, oh wait a second. I'm getting a message from the universe right now. Hold on a moment. Ten. Fifteen. Seventeen. Twenty-one. Thirty-five. And the bonus number is... Thirty-six. Yes, those are the winning numbers. Okay, now I hooked you up, now you hook me up, yeah? Okay, I'll be there in about 10 minutes. Okay, bye. I'm afraid something has come up and I have to run. It's an emergency. My friend's cat is stuck up a tree and I have to go help. Arlene and I would love to help a kitty in need. We is vegan superheroes. Uh-huh, we is. Thank you for offering. However, you see, this cat is very sensitive to negative energy. And I'm afraid that you would just scare him further up the tree. Right. Okay, well... Give us a call if you need any help. Call any time. Especially if you got some weed. Thank you. No problem. Okay, Vessels of Light. I'm afraid that's it for the show for today. I have to go help a cat in need. You see, Vegans like Zeke and Arlene aren't the only ones who love animals and help animals. I help animals too. Now I must run and do my duty. Okay, peace. Bye, go vegan. Good day, vessels of light. Mountain weed here. Back on the show by popular demand from the crazy vegans is Cousin Zeke. Howdy, y'all! Zeke, I was on my way to donate money to a charity the other day, and I got accosted on the street by vegans. My buddy, Purple Cactus, caught the whole thing on tape. Watch this clip. Hey, I like your shirt. Would you like a pamphlet? Oh, boy. The vegans again! I can't walk down the street to my pot dealer's house without being accosted by you fucking vegans. What is it with you? What are you trying to prove? What are you getting from all of this? Did Zeke tell you to come out here and bother me? I am a good friend with cousin Zeke. Oh but really? Zeke did not tell me to come out here and do this. No? No. What's in it for you? Why are you bothering people out in the street with your veganism? I'm just trying to make the world a little bit more compassionate place. Have you never heard of the circle of life? What animals eat you in that circle? 
No animals. I'm I'm at the top of the circle. If no animals are eating you and you're eating every other animal, then there's no circle. There's no top to a circle. I tell you what, my 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 silly vegan friends. When I die, worms can eat me, okay? And then you'll be happy, okay? Worms can eat me. So you get to have a natural death, but every other animal has to be killed so you can eat it. That's still not a circle. You know what? I don't need your negative energy. Uh, here, take it. Give that to someone else. What do you think of that, Zeke? Hey, that was my buddy Dylan. I'm glad he was out leaf flitting. I did some leaf flitting too the other day. Grassroots activism is helping to abolish carnism. Hey, I know all about grass. I smoke grass every day. Grass is a positive thing. Don't even say the word grass in a negative sentence. I was talking about grassroots activism, not the kind of grass that you smoke. Then, my buddy, Purple Cactus, tried to teach your friend about the circle of life, but he just laughed in her face. Watch this clip. You and your buddies reek like pot. I don't need your negative energy either, dude. What are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never met Purple Cactus, but you sure as hell do reek like pot. Hey, Zeke, the only thing I reek of is positive energy. On the way home from donating money to the charity, Purple Cactus and I got tripped out by the flowers on someone's toes. We stopped to look at the flowers, but that lady turned out to be a vegan too. Watch this. Hey, Purple Cactus, come here. Get a shot of these things. Wow. Holy fuck, that's tripping me out, man. Look at that shit. Do you want to leave Lynn? Oh, Dude, she's fuck. a vegan. Fuck another vegan. Let's get out of here. No more negative energy. Hey, that young lady was out leafletting too. She was handing out why vegans, just like this one. I'm asking myself that very question. Why vegan? It seems like everywhere I go, vegans, vegans. Then the other day, I went to a restaurant to get away from the vegans, but I had no such luck. Watch these clips. Hey everybody, how's it going? Mountain weed here. Hey, hey young lady, is this seat taken? Yeah, oh, yeah it's in it. Oh, please, thank you very much. No problem. Mm. Boy, I was out today, took a walk to go see my drug dealer for some weed, and these vegans, <laughs> vegans accosted me on the street. Everywhere I go, it's fucking vegans everywhere. Oh, it's just nice to hang out with some regular people for once. Oh, hey, 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 young lady. How you doing? Hi. Uh, yeah, Are man. Is to order? Yeah, please. Uh, okay. I want the biggest, juiciest steak you got. You got a 64 ounce here for me? Yeah. yeah. Do. Ooh, that okay. sounds good. Medium rare. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wait, what's that? Right. What's that? Wait, um, you know it's vegan night, eh? You should try the special. Oh. What? You're a vegan too? Yeah. Oh my god, everywhere I go. Vegans everywhere. Ah, I suppose you're all vegans. Yeah, yeah. we're all yeah. vegans. Yeah. Oh man, oh man. Oh, what'd you say about the special? What's that? It's what's fresh tomato salad. Yeah. Uh, some pepper and all that. Ah, <laughs> like that sounds. It? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, nice. you're cute. You talked me into it. Oh, thanks. Well, let's move forward. Whatever. He's some pretty good fucking grub, man. <laughs> fucking A, people. Not even done the first course. And look at this course. Holy shit, look at that 
food, man. Well, check this food out. Look at that right here. Mm -mm. Thank you, universe. What do you think of that, Zeke? The whole restaurant was full of vegans. Mountain Weed, you were at Brooklyn's Restaurant in Thorold, Ontario. That place has delicious vegan food. Looks like you had a great time. I have a great time wherever I go, okay? I'm all about positivity. I bet you loved the food, didn't you? I had the munchies, man. Anything would have tasted good. Mountain Weed, come on. You love the food, admit it. I even saw you thank the universe. <laughs> okay, I'll admit it, the food was fantastic. <laughs> hey, I eat vegan food sometimes. It's not like I have steak for breakfast, lunch, and dinner every day of my life. Manweed, I know you eat vegan food. Everybody does. Most food is vegan. Fruits and vegetables, grains and beans, nuts and seed. It's all delicious vegan food. I'm glad you had a good time at the restaurant. By the way, are all vegan ladies so good looking? There were many beautiful vegan ladies there that night. Mountain weed, my mama always told me it's what's inside that counts. And my mama was right. You know, Vegans, ethical vegans, have clean insides because their bodies aren't all clogged up with saturated fat and cholesterol, but they also have very big hearts. There is truly nothing more beautiful than compassion for all beings. Hey, I have a big heart too, you know. Hey, I can't see myself ever being a vegan. But I guess I can learn to tolerate you vegans because you're obviously not going away. Nope, we sure aren't going away, Mountain Weed. The vegan community is getting bigger and stronger every day. Apparently. Anyway, that's it for the show for today. It's time for me to send some positive vibrations out into the universe. On my drum. vegan ladies who I met at the restaurants. If you ever want to go out for some, some vegan food sometime, then, uh, you know, I, I'd be into that. <laughs>